Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. As you can see, we are in the middle part of the Gift Trio interlude. I'm getting ready for the Gift Trio fanfare, which means tons of gifts are on the way. Now I wanna go through, wanna answer any questions about AFK Arena um, that we have going on because there's a ton including going over some of the comments, some of the things that we have seen on a bunch of different places. Um, looking on Reddit, looking on Discord, there's been a lot of data mining. AFK Inside, when it comes to the new faction that is coming, how exactly this is gonna roll out, what it's gonna look like. There again are a ton of questions. Ali and Soul are here. Soul, thank you for joining me again. I know you're here last night. Connor, Paul, and WSW is here. The wallet is already crying. All right, guys, so let's go through. Asta is here as well. Let's go through some of the basic questions that we're seeing when it comes to AFK Arena is we know over on the test server that we actually have the new event that is up, which is right here, Draconic Depictions. This gives us the ability, and this is kind of bridging the, the area between um, Esprio and Dragons. Dragons, I guess, according to the story, um, Dragons, the, the Celestials and the Hypos essentially use Dragons learned how to control them, then sent them all the way, all the dragons took off to hide. Now it's at the time that we're getting the dragons back. So dragons are going to be introduced. Now, the storyline that we've seen from, um, from Facebook with AFK Arena was talking about the ability of dragons to take human form. Now, looking at this, um, th this is where is some of this pretty interesting. So rumor again, I, I just want to run through again some of the things that a lot of players have seen. Dark Blaine is here. What is going on, Dark? And Tom as well is hu or dragons have the ability to take a human form. This is where Gwen comes in. This is where a lot of players were saying Gwen is going to be the next awakened hero. She's going to be the one that we are going to be seeing in the awakened version. Now, again, rumor is Discord, Reddit, everywhere else that Gwen is going to be the first dragon that we see within AFK Arena. Boom. There's the knowledge drop, guys. That is the conjunction that, again, we're kind of seeing or what players are speculating because, of course, we don't know for sure at this point if that is what they're actually thinking. But I don't think they do another Light Bearer Awakened Hero because we've seen Lucius Awaken. Um, so, again, that's going to be a little bit different. They are saying that Gwen is going to be the first hero in a lineup of kind of crossover heroes that has the ability to turn into a dragon. So taking human form as Gwen, um, being dragon form as essentially the dragon, I'm sure by the same name or maybe some, some other name. But overall, again, a lot of players were saying that it was going to be kind of another faction that was gonna be down here. I don't know if there's gonna be kind of an awakening process because of course, with those draconic um, depictions, we are getting a new item, which is going to essentially summon dragons. Now, with that being said, going through the portraits, we have the ascended tier um, even coming down here. We do have right here, the legendary tier. We do have the common tier. So again, from my understanding, from the data mining that we have seen, there are also going to be three tiers of dragons. That is right, there are going to be three different stones with and coinciding to the three tiers of dragons. We don't know if it's gonna be one dragon that essentially you do kind of like a tier one, a tier two, and a tier three, um, kind of like a leveling up system. I don't know if there's gonna be um, the item to actually summon, like it's going to be kind of like our summons in here, where every time you do a summon, essentially out of the Noble Tavern, you have a chance to get some heroes out of here. You can get the common, you can get some legendary, you can also get some of the Celestials and the Hypos and the Awakened heroes out of here. I don't know if that is going to be added in here as well. Again, there are literally, playing AFK Arena for five years, there are so many questions that I have because it also makes me wonder if when is essentially the first hero that is going to be the Dragonborn, is it just going to stay with this hero? Do you have to have the hero, let's say, built out to ascended five stars to be able to level it up or build it into a dragon? Or is it going to be a completely separate unit? Again, a lot of questions we got. Also, the other question that I was kind of thinking about is, are we going to see the dragons that are kind of like this? 
that are kind of like a beast. Are they gonna be a unit that we're actually using in battle? So instead of having like Gwen's ultimate ability, is the ultimate ability going to be the dragon form that she has in here? And how much is that gonna change everything? Again, there are so many questions that have literally been going, um, going on. What's going on, Gazi? And Bobo is here as well. Yes, and I, I don't know, Connor. I'm kind of on both ways. I, I think it, it might be a new character, and that's, again, where we don't know if they roll out the hero as a, a dragon form of Gwen. It might just be an entirely new dragon unit that is going to be a character. But again, a lot of players are kind of tying the threads together through the data mining and through the story that this hero is kind of similar to what we see with the awakened heroes is it's going to be a hero that can transform into a dragon. I don't know, again, if the dragon is going to be a new unit or it could even be, and I was thinking about this as well, that Gwen has the ability to transform to a dragon where we have dragon only units so if we have a new faction over here, the dra dra Draconic, um, that are going to be dragon only units and then giving essentially the power of some of these heroes, similar to what we have with our signature items that have the ability to transform into a dragon and you can use them either way. Again, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Uh, Gwen makes sense lore wise. She was already um, unusually strong. Yeah, and that's where, again, looking at the story wise, looking at the data mine and guys, I, I want you to take this with kind of a, a grain of salt, because right now, this is just info that is going around. There's a lot of rumors. Some of it might be legit. Some of it might be complete BS. I don't know. Um, I'm just wanting to pass on the content because I've gotten a ton of questions about what is coming with this. And we know also, if you're gonna go over to this land essentially to get dragons, summoning dragons, are we gonna use, you know, what items are we gonna use? Um, there's also been a lot. Um, Hero seems a bit more of a resource split. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, Soul. Dragon form of Gwen, wouldn't it make more sense to be an awakened version of Gwen? No, so since we already have the awakened version of, of Lucius, which essentially is the 2024 cycle, we have the Maulers, we have the Wilders, and we have the Greyborn, which are coming to complete the third iteration or the third cycle of the awakened heroes. Gonna be pretty interesting. What is going on, D2? Uh, Jeff the Egg is here as well. Now, also, this is another one that I know I, I don't agree with. So there's also a screenshot that, again, has been shared, and I believe it's on AFK Inside, might have been the Chinese servers, that show the ability for time emblems. That is right. Our coveted time emblems to build the Awakened Heroes are going to have the ability to swap time emblems to the emblems of the dragons, giving you the ability to summon dragons. So swapping in on the screenshot that we seen, um, it was one to one. So time emblems, we're being swapped for the dragon emblem to summon up dragons, which means if I swapped X amount of time emblems, I could swap it to the dragon item. The dragon item is gonna allow me to summon dragons, but at the cost of time emblems, again, that, that's gonna be kind of interesting to see exactly how that works and what it looks like and what kind of the trade-off is. And that is the other reason why, again, a lot of players, and we haven't seen a new awakened hero. That's why Eugene was awakened to allow players to essentially stockade some of the time emblems that we have in here. Um, again, it's gonna be pretty interesting. What's going on, AFK? And Yellow is here as well. Yeah, it, it's gonna be interesting. Um, they need to make more money. Collections were flopped. Yes, collections were very, very tough. Yeah, so a next currency, and that might be exactly, Marco, what it is. Again, there's going to be a massive update like what we've seen. Now, of course, personally, I think they just need to roll out with new heroes, kind of like what we said. Um, I, I think it means that, you know, we could have some regular heroes that have the ability to essentially um, transcend or turn into dragons, but also having dragon units itself, to me, really does kind of make sense. But let's run through here. Drop the questions in there, guys, because again, I know this with everything that's coming and it's kind of, again, kind of details, broken details from what we've seen. We know kind of general rule um, what is going to be coming down the pipeline with the dragons. Again, we don't know all of the, the fine minute details, but they are definitely coming and we know they're coming very, very soon. Uh, nobody AFK here, which is good. But overall, they need to make more. Oh yeah, yeah, we were talking about it. What's going on, Zerol? Thank you for joining us for the live stream. Yeah, I, I don't know again exactly how they're gonna roll it out and what it's gonna look like. 
Any word on an anime crossover? No crowd. As of right now, there hasn't been anything. It's been kind of crazy. Um, we haven't seen anything as far as a crossover. And I think they're rolling out the dragons. Once this dragon part is done, um, I would say at that point, because they're not going to wrap the whole new system dragon into a crossover. I know, again, they did a survey a little while ago about the crossovers that people were interested in. Um, don't have the results of that, but I know overall there are going to be some crossovers coming. At least one or two, we're waiting to see a couple more dimensional heroes. We have three more awakened heroes. We have dragons that are coming. Um, there is literally so much going on with AFK Arena. It, it's insane. It is honestly um, kind, kind of crazy. I feel like they're getting high on power creep like a junkie yeah, on mar mar marijuana? Marijuana. Um, so what's the exact date of the anniversary? It's the end of this month. So I believe the exact date, I would have to look a stuff, but I know it is a little bit later. Um, remind me, you, uh, you, you're the bro. Appreciate all you do. The dragons in addition to pets, a new faction. Yes, Clay. That is what they're saying, that dragons are going to be a new classification. Um, so it is going to be a new faction. Um, that, and that's what they said. Literally, when we were going through there, it said that there was going to be a new faction, which is going to be kind of crazy. Wonder, can you stargaze for dragons once ascended? So there's a whole different system, Connor. So with the event that is coming, it is an entirely different summoning system that is going to be around the dragons that we're getting. So again, it's going to be super interesting to see exactly how it rolls out, what it looks like, how many they're going to kind of come out with, and what's it going to look like. What's going on, watch? I watched your tier list video. It helped me a lot. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. When uh, did swim this morning. Most of you, if you joined the uh, AFK journey and I got my swag on. That's right. It's my AFK journey. That's right. T-shirt. Very cool. Yeah, it, it was uh, really fun. So it, again, if you caught the stream last night, we did swim this morning, which was good. Uh, what cool I be expecting free to play. Free to play just takes time. And we really stress this, guys. When you look at an account that is free to play, um, you really have to have the expectation. If you're free to play, that is awesome. I, I love the free to play accounts. If you want to be competitive in mobile gaming, it does take money. But free to play, absolutely, we'll do it there. All of this, yes, Venice, um, still nothing about a word about the tower. I have not seen anyone. Uh, what's the first Awaken to build? First Awaken, I would either look at building out the Awaken version of Athelia, or I would look at building the Awaken version of Shimira. Um, both of them are gonna do very, very well. Shimira and the Awaken version of Athelia are pretty broken. Both of them have a ton of utility. Um, definitely, and I know the Awakened version of Belinda seeing a little less utility, but either of those would be very, very strong. Now, I did the Labyrinth last time. Yeah, we still finished out Labyrinth. Want to go through here. This is the first hop on for the day. I haven't tried AFK Journey. Isn't it fun? I'd love to try it, but I'm scared if it isn't fun. Z um, Zrul, try it. AFK Journey is, is a good bridge. The big thing with AFK Journey is it is a different type of game with the open world exploration. But the big thing with AFK Journey that I feel like is the biggest game changer is they have the boss modes that I absolutely love. Here we got 450 of our space emblems. Um, I, I like the differences between the two games. It's, it's good to see something, take a little bit of a break. You think the Draconic Faction is going to get its own tower? I would think so, Paradox. Just for the fact that it is a new faction, we have the faction towers. Um, and I don't know why they're really holding back, why we haven't seen anything about that dimensional tower. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I, I really don't know exactly why they haven't rolled out anything because it's been like a year, maybe over a year, that we've had conversations about the dimensional tower. And I know they were kind of throwing around the idea. We've seen a couple, um, a couple things about it, but again, it never came to fruition, which is hard. Free to play here, I'm at chapter 45, halfway there. Just wish I had Lava Tune built. Yeah, Lava Tune is huge. Lava Tune is huge for sure, guys. Definitely a hero that you want to build. Is Lucisa still a good candidate for E60? Yes, Dream E60 will work. I would be very, very cautious about building out the signature item anymore, but I do like the 60 on um, Lu Lucretia, or excuse me, Lucila. Um, it works well. There, there's a couple of heroes in here that, that can use it and it does work incredibly well. That is one of them because of the conjunction with Liberta um, that works well. 
Uh, hi, Hippo from Croatia. Your opinion on the Ghoulish Gallery today after all the updates? David, it still needs a... The Ghoulish Gallery still needs an update. <laughs> and honestly, the, the reason being is you can come in here. So a couple notes with that. Um, so big thing is we have the ability to, to build up these a little bit further. However, it does require a significant amount of totem co um, consumption, which I don't like. Now, the big thing to remember with this is these right here. Arcane staffs, you really can't get anywhere short of buying them for diamonds in the shop. That's it. As you can see, I'm at zero. We just reset the week. I don't even have any staffs to, to get these. If you're not spending diamonds on a regular basis to get pulls, they are not included anywhere. Arcane staffs need to be incorporated into our AFK rewards. Arcane staff need to be added to the field of stars. There needs to be a lot of different ways to get the staffs to build the collections. And even then, if you're buying the collections, um, it's just an absolute pain in the butt, David. If you're buying the collections, because chances are you could go in here, you could burn a ton of diamonds buying up these staffs. You do a bunch of summons. You finally get some mythic totems. You run the mythic totems. And then, of course, it's just absolutely trash totem that you pull out of there with the myth mythic totems because of the RNG factor. So you go right back to doing absolutely nothing. And it sucks because it's a ghoulish gallery because you don't have the ability to get a good collection, even though you put a ton of resources in there, it can be garbage that is just going to be recycled. Absolutely has to be done. Does Alna need engraving? No, at all. Alna does not need engraving. Ali, um, almost done with Awaken Like, I got a failure from Swap. I have Belinda, Brutus, Shamira, Eugene. I would wait, Asta. I would honestly wait to build someone else to see, and with the new system coming out, yes, I, Asta, I, I would definitely wait to see um, what the new system is gonna look like, what it's gonna kind of roll out with um, before we make any big moves in the game because with them with them throwing out a new system, we gotta see what it looks like. Uh, should I get Lava Tune to E60? Yes. Yes, I'll touch our Aluch. I think it's Aluch. Um, yes, Lava Tune E60, definitely. Guess I'm gonna play some AFK Journey. Do you have a tier list or do you know Vulcan has it? Um, I have a tier list. If you go down to the guide section, there's a tier list out there. Vulcan has a tier list as well. I know his uh, AFK Journey channel has been absolutely crushing it. But yep, we got a couple tier lists out there. And make sure if you're playing AFK Journey that you set your wish list. Wish list is by far absolutely priority number one. When you start going in there for summons, you have to have it set. And really there's some heroes in AFK Journey that are really good, some that are absolutely ferocious that a lot of players are not building at all. Yeah, you, you can definitely do both. The new faction, yeah, the, they're dragons. They're not dragon hunters. Um, they are dragons. We have what, Desira and Morrow in here. So let's drop in Desira and Morrow. Of course we know Morrow, not many players know Morrow. There's Morrow and then Desira is in here. Um, a lot of these heroes starting to really, really go far down the wish list, which is kind of sad. That's okay though. How far should I build Jerome like signature item? Jerome needs a big build. Jerome, um, the only thing I didn't do on Jerome, so the 309, um, so plus 30 signature item, the nine of nine furniture, and I did a 30 engraving. The 60 engraving is good. Um, but again, the, the cost in there, I believe it's heavy PVP is why I didn't build it anymore. Um, who should I swap uh, Awaken Taylin for? Um, Silvana or Gavis? Honestly, either of those are going to be good. I like Sophia for the, um, the support aspect. Gavis, of course, works in a couple formations, but Sophia's still seeing a lot of use cases in AFK Arena as well. Uh, is Rem a good option for 60 and 40? Yes, mythical. Um, or my mystical. I have Rem built out the exact same right there. As you can see, we have her built out in the entirety. She is a really, really good candidate for being built out. She is still very, very strong and best in slot in a lot of those different, um, a lot of those different formations. Uh, what he has is the video. It's really good to follow. Oh, very cool, Asta. Uh, I have Awaken Shamira, Belinda, Athalia, um, if you have Shamira, Belinda, Athelia, yeah, Shamira. Shamira is very strong. Uh, all heroes on the front line must be tanks. So let's go ahead and drop some tanks in here. We'll drop Athelia back. Boom, we'll go ahead, we'll pick up two quick tanks in here. And there we go, continue. 
Uh, whenever the new power system is, please don't just don't be RNG. So the, the big thing with the new system, um, you, you don't like the RNG factor, um, it's summons. So when you talk about RNG base for gameplay, yes, it is very RNG because the dragons are going to be summons, meaning that you are summoning and there are unique items based on the dragons to do the summons. So it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting because again, that's kind of how they're building them is the unique build with those summons. Probably a lot of people call Silvana, you're just the first I see. Yeah. Oh, uh, should I give Eugene the 40 SI? So right now I am waiting and I'm waiting to see exactly, um, pull the trigger, um, where he's being used. So I waited, um, even Eugene right here, boom. I, I'm waiting on the 40 signature item. I have the materials for it, but I want to see exactly where the hero is being used. If the hero is being used in a bunch of different places. So I'm, I'm kind of paused right now um, to see exactly where it, it's going to be worth it. it it's really going to be worth Eugene because essentially if Eugene's already to the point where we're not seeing a lot of build, um, I'm not going to build Eugene any further if he's not really predominant in a lot of different formations. But of course, I have the resources. That why, that's why we're kind of sitting on him where if he is and does start showing up in a bunch of different places, we can easily just go ahead and build him and be done. I, I just wait. I, I just really wait for him um, to, to see exactly how, how he's going to be built. Is honorable heroes worth it? What do you mean, Eric? The honorable heroes. Uh, can I ask you SMT? Um, I recently started playing AFK Arena after three years. The meta has changed so much. I don't know what works anymore. Could you be my mentor? Uh, I just picked up a new mentor, but unfortunately... Right now, mentors don't seem, or, or the, um, the mentees don't seem to last very long. So definitely keep an eye out. Yes, I, I'll mentor anyone. And I always do, even though I have all the rewards way, way, way over the max rewards. We'll go ahead and yeah, definitely mentor anyone. Again, most of the time, the mentees last uh, about a week, maybe two. And then they are kind of, um, they, they're kind of burnt out or a lot of people don't finish anymore. So there is Brahm. And we have Orin, so let's drop out those two. So let's see, where is my Brom? Now, Brom, we did fill out a little bit or build him up a little bit. We have Orin, which is, of course, still a very, very good hero. There we go. Late again. What is going on, Crash? Thanks for joining us for the stream. Should I start building Alna out of the shop or would Merlin Leo be better? Uh, Benjamin, I would build Alna. And the reason being, um, Looking at Ulna and Merlin and Leo, Ulna is still being used in a lot of PvP, but Ulna is very, very strong, Ben, um, when it comes to the campaign. Ulna is still being used in a lot of the campaign formations, especially if you're not a player that has, you know, everyone built out. Ulna is a really, really strong hero to build um, because of the way that she works. And she doesn't require a really big build, which is another thing that I like, is you don't have to put a lot of time and effort into Ulna. But overall, it, it does work well. I have Athelia, Brutus, Shimira, Solus, building Belinda and Eugene. Should I wait after Belinda? Um, I would wait. I would honestly wait. Like I said, I, I would pause the builds right now, guys. And the reason being, we don't know what's coming. So if, you know, the, the dragons that are coming are really, really broken, and you can swap those time emblems for the dragon emblems, I think a lot of players are going to swap those emblems essentially to the dragon emblems. And again, we have to see exactly where that's gonna make a big difference, what the impact of these dragons are going to be. Maybe those new summons would be like Lilith will put in staffs and epic emblems. I'm thinking so, Trisha. So the rumor around that, um, exactly what Trisha said, maybe they'll give us more staffs and epic emblems. So the rumor is they are releasing um, one or two more stars to the field of stars. Um, with the Field of Stars are going to include the Arcane Staffs and are going to include the Epic Emblems. I, I don't know at what point they're going to be, but that's exactly what, uh, what do we got? Heroes of the same class. But that's exactly what players, again, are kind of speculating is that we're going to see a lot of the ability or a lot of those, the, the rare, more rare items once you're later into the campaign or done like so many summons that they're going to allow you or they're going to put it into the field of stars, which I think would be ideal. Honestly, Trisha, that would be very, very ideal for them to kind of incorporate it in the game mode. So no tank, no support. 
just to make it easy. Make it very, very easy for heroes. So let's do no tank, no support. Let's drop in, oh, so let's do Greyborn Warrior. There we go. We'll, we'll throw a couple in here. I need a damage dealer for light bearer. Should I get E60 on Scarlet or only ascending enough? So Ali, Scarlet is still a primary hero. So you, you have a couple um, to, to really build. Scarlet, is it worth building Scarlet? Yes, for really two reasons. Number one, light bearers. The light bearer tower, absolutely. Scarlet is still a big priority. It, if you don't have all three of the awakened heroes built, in addition, Scarlet is still in the Nightmare Corridor. So Scarlet, because of the burst damage that Scarlet can do, Scarlet is still in the best in slot teams within the Nightmare Corridor because of the burst damage that Scarlet puts out. It, it is really good. Um, guys, is Zekas good? No, Zekas is very, very bad. Um, I never even built him. So Zerul, that, that's one of the big things. I have never even built him. Someone said earlier that the SS with swapping time emblems into the new cards is fake. It might be. And, and that's where Asta, I, I want to make sure because if you go in here and you summon all those, which again, guys, speculation is always what it is. We don't know exactly what is coming out around this new system. Um, that's why I said, wait, just pause to see what happens because if they're not doing the swap, if we can't do the swap, like what Asta said right there, um, Asta, that, that's great. Then we can keep all of our time emblems. Great. Definitely want to keep it. But if it is, if there is any legitimacy behind it, um, we, we would have to see. We would absolutely have to see. Yeah, build Liberta. When it comes to the heroes, um, Zerol, Liberta is number one. You've been away from AFK Arena for a while. Liberta is number one to build. And look at the loot we get out of here, guys. It is kind of crazy the amount of loot we get in here, which is awesome. We also did put in our Wilder tank. Now, Aethys works super, super well. Rest of this, boom. Look at all of those resources we get out of this game mode. That's the reason why we do this. Let's hop in. I want to do some summons in here. Is Vithiel or Kinesis and Rook better? Right now, Alex, Vithiel. Vithiel is seeing a lot more play um, than what we're seeing with Kinesis and Rook because of the buffing ability. Kinesis and Rook, I thought we might see Kinesis and Rook a lot more within Matria and the Hypo comp because of, of course, Kelthin. As of right now, not seeing a lot of use. Even looking at Eugene, again, not seeing a lot of use. How far should I build Amelia and SI Furniture and Engraving? Um, Amelia, I built out quite a bit. You don't have to do the 60 engraving. 30 engraving, I definitely recommend in here because of the half strength for this one. But the big thing with her is the plus 30. This is the, the big big thing is the plus 30 signature item right there. Furniture, of course, I believe this is the one, yeah, that, that you can build it up. It might take a little bit of time, but you absolutely can. Is Rem a good option for 60 and 40? Um, Rem is, Joan is not. Rem, I would recommend building out like I have her right here. We have the 60, we have the 40. Um, Joan, I do not and I will not build out any further. Took her to a plus 30. That is where we're keeping her, but let's hop in here. Let's do some summons. So we'll pop open all of these chests we got. And again, I am sitting on almost a uh, thousand red chests. I think there was almost a thousand red chests in there. We are just stockpiling resources to see. Again, this is my recommendation. You don't have to do it, but my recommendation is kind of pause, you know, if you're in the middle of building a hero, continue building out the hero. But if you're looking at building out new heroes, I am just pausing everything we're building to see exactly what is coming with the new faction, what is coming with pretty much everything at this time. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to see. I'm kind of, again, kind of on the sidelines for a lot of this, just waiting to see what's coming down the pipeline with all of these heroes. And of course, everything we just pulled is just recycling. So unfortunately, we're just going to continue in here with all of the recycling of the heroes. So definitely, again, want to do a couple summons in here. Also, how does the, the pity system work? I watched some of Vulcan Summon, see where the 30 pulls, he gets an elite and another. So the pity system is 65. So, so essentially the Temple of Time, when you're doing summons in here, you're not gonna use more than 65 time emblems. That I believe is where the pity pull comes in. Um, I believe the Stargazer is the exact same where if you get to so many summons, which hitting 65, if you go past 65, um, 65 is essentially the pity pull where they're gonna give you a free copy because you've used enough resources essentially to get the pity pull in there. 
that that's kind of how how the pity poll works. Uh, what's going on, Jack? Thanks for joining us for the stream. How are you doing? Any advice to make Eugene to ascended level with level sixty? So I did the engraving, Ali. I did not do the SI. I, I want to wait, and I again, I'm going to wait to see exactly where and if Eugene is used in a lot of different formations before I commit the resources to a 40 SI because it's super expensive. We we really, really, it, it is very, very expensive to build those. What's going on, Harsh? First time catching you live. Thanks for joining the live stream. Uh, how did you get so many red chests? I haven't spent them so. So, so literally everything that we have been doing, all the events, everything, um, 945 red chests, I'm getting them out of a bunch of different places. Nightmare Corridor, Treasure Scramble, um, even looking at the, the Treasure Scramble, looking at, you know, everything, everything that we've had the ability to get red chest, even here with 200 epic emblem chests. Um, I stopped building heroes a while ago. Th that's kind of where we've been stuck. Do you think AFK Arena will slowly die to AFK Journey? Not really. I, I think there's gonna be a lot of players in, of course, one thing to remember, guys, is AFK Journey is very, very, very new. There's going to be some players that play AFK Journey, play it for a while, maybe not come back to it. There's going to be some that are going to pick a, pick up AFK Journey and run with it for an incredible amount of time. Um, there's some that will come back to AFK Arena. It's really a, a give and take. And honestly, when you think of AFK Arena, just like Raid, just like a couple other games, running these games for five years is a very long time for mobile games, guys, it, it is honestly, it is an exceptionally long time for mobile games to survive. Past the first couple years, usually they can't hold players here. We see a lot of turnaround. We see a lot of um, not playing. Um, yeah, and, and again, five years in AFK Arena, it's not going anywhere. The player base is here, which I love to see, um, but we are getting there. Hello, Hippo, what's El, 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 Elza here? El, Elza has, I'm not even, I don't even know how to say that. I have Lucretia, um, Mortis Twins, Bethiel, Liberta. That is a big long list. Um, let me see. So we have Liberta in there. We have Lucila in there. Do you have Lava Tune? I don't. Yep, Lava Tune's in there. Um, you have Lucila, Demia. Honestly, at that point, I would wait. So guys, in Aluch, I, I want to show you kind of what I'm talking about. So we're looking at the heroes to build in here. Even looking big picture, um, having Alna, even having, you know, Liberta, having Damia, having Lava Tune, um, even having Vithio, having Ulna, even looking over here, heroes that you use, this bottom row, maybe Mortis, one off. Um, even looking at this row, Lucila, okay, we use, every now and then we use Olgath, Phineas and Rook, very, very rarely. Frampton, I don't use. Lucila, I don't use. So there's a lot of heroes, and I would say even out of the Celestials and Hypos, um, th there might be a couple heroes that you're gonna use, and even now, with Kinesa and Rook, um, I have them built and I have them built out pretty well. I don't use Kinesa and Rook. Maybe in the tower would be the only place, Aluch, that I'm seeing Kinesa and Rook played, but in regular formations, even in PvP, we're not seeing Kinesa and Rook at all. That's the point where I would save, because even looking at Kelthin, which I love the build of this hero, we're not seeing the utility for him. We're unfortunately not seeing um, not seeing a lot of drive, not seeing a lot of summons, which I want to do a couple more because I'm going to build them out. I've built all of these heroes out and I'm going to continue doing just that. We need one copy of him. Maybe with our last 5,000, we can get a copy, which we do not. But we're still one copy away. Ghost Knight, don't summon for Braun. Um, use your desired hero summons, but that still leaves us one single copy away. We did not get him, which is okay. Yeah, AFK Arena, there you go. Still top 20 in money and earnings. The game's not going anywhere, guys. I'm not going anywhere. It, it's it's very, very prevalent. I I'd still love this game. It's always fun to play. Now, of course, Liberta and Awakened version of Athelia are almost done in their entirety. I'm hoping we can get some more copies. There is the Awakened version of Belinda. And of course, guys, we're gonna do our summons in here. We're gonna do all of our beast summons. We're gonna continue just building out these heroes. There's the Awakened version of Laika. Back-to-back furniture, there's Athelia. Athelia is almost done, and I might actually use some of the cards on the table just to max that out. There's another copy for Eugene. Eugene is another one. We got to nine of nine. Haven't built them out any further, but we have eight cards on the table, which is awesome. That is so many pieces of furniture, guys. Unfortunately, Braun is still not seeing any at this point. Belinda, we got maxed across the board. Boom, I'm gonna go build this one up. 
one more. Now remember, we said this last time we did our stream. Um, you gotta build them 111, 222, 333. You wanna make sure you're going even numbers across the furniture. It yields you a better return than building all of them. So this one I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade because we're already uh, max to one, almost done in the entirety right there. This one I'm waiting. I think we we determined that we are gonna do this one. Again, max one zero, not the way you wanna build it. Not the way you wanna build it at all, guys. You wanna go back one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 um, so on and so forth. So even here we have max, max two. This one I'm gonna build up again a little bit further. Boom. That gives us 333 three, three across the board and max furniture. Guys, we have a ton of max furniture, which is awesome. I'm just happy being here based on the player base is still big. Yeah, AFK Arena, like I said, is still gonna be there. Um, isn't Kelton only using the Magician's hat so far? Yes, Alex. So we're not even seeing this hero used in a lot of different places. I don't even know, maybe Kelton's used here, um, which there we go. So there is Kelton. Um, very interesting formation. But overall, if you're looking to push the damage in here, most of the time you're not gonna get to the point of pushing enough damage to make a difference. And even my heroes are not built out high enough. This game mode doesn't really make a big difference. Ice Crown BCC is broken. Yes, absolutely, Asa. I love Ice Crown. Um, I use Ice Crown since Ice Crown came out within the campaign. Absolutely, very, very, and works incredibly well. Let's hope Lilith doesn't ruin it. They won't, Marco. And again, you, you, you got to kind of take it with a grain of salt. That That's something where a new system rolls out. The new system might not work as well as intended or not work, you know, as well as intended. Um, they always update it. We have seen so many changes, so many updates based on player feedback, based on a ton of different things. They make adjustments kind of as we need them or as they're really, really deserved or really well needed. We, we have seen so many updates to AFK Arena and so many changes. Even think of when we rolled out with, let's say down here, when we rolled out with the Mystic Star Zone and everyone's like, this sucks, it needs changed. Next version, they changed it. Then of course we had issues with the Star Zone, um, made more changes, made more changes. There's still a couple places that we really do need to see a couple more different changes couple more updates, but it, it's just to the point of really fine tuning a lot of different things, um, which you need. Um, Althus, the new hero is used and how much should I build him? So I built him out pretty well. I took him to 30 engraving. So nine of nine furniture, I did the 30 signature item, but I did do the 30 engraving on here as well, um, which you could take him a little bit higher, but overall I didn't want to. Again, just based on this with the beast cage, big thing with him, and I haven't built him there yet, is the 40. If you want to maximize the damage that Aethys is doing, um, building him out a little bit further does make a really big, big difference. And look at that. We have 16, 17 year olds. So a bunch of younger ones in here, which is uh, always cool to see. Yeah. Be interesting to see. They're going to squeeze the last couple of Waken heroes with all the stuff going on. Yes. Trisha hit it right on the, on the nose, guys. Um, going to be interested to see with everything going on, where we're gonna throw in another three Awakened Heroes with the Dragons, with the collaborations. That's why I said, when it comes to AFK Arena, guys, there's a ton that is coming and a ton that is going on. And what is going on, Justin? It is going very, very well. Thank you for joining us for the stream. Has anyone tried Liberta and Taylene together? Um, he revives her almost instantly. We have went through a couple. So Liberta and Taylene together, um, Again, we've seen it in a couple different stall teams. Um, Liberta, I, I don't know. I, that, that's a really good question. Wish there was a way to combat the power creep. Love playing the game, but I'm stalled on just farming mats until I pass another level. That's the game, Ben. So really the, the trade-off between the two, the, the big thing is either you're going to spend time, like what Ben is saying, gonna be possibly another couple days or another week before he makes more progression, or it's gonna be money. That, that is it. That, that, that is really the, the trade-off. Either you're going to wait time because it is an AFK game, AFK arena, or it's going to be money. It's going to be one or another. And I'm actually going to switch up my frame in here. Let's look at the frame. So there is our season 12 frame. And again, some of these frames, I don't like how some of them look. 
but you can see like that is the head from, I think the Sky Serpent, maybe the face from the Sky Serpent, but pretty cool in season 12. Um, did very, very well with Adventure Run. Big shout out to those guys. It was awesome to see. What's going on, Alfred Us? I also have Liberta at 60 and SI40, same with Damia. Who should I build next? Some of the Awakened Heroes. So when I think of building to the 40s, so the big thing in here is I built a majority of our damage dealers. So looking at, we have Laika, we have Shamira, um, I have Belinda. As you can see, we have Lucius right there. We also do have a few other, I have the Awakened version of Athelia. Brutus I built because I love, and I love using him in the tower, but we also built out Rem. We built out a couple other ones up to the 40. Liberta we built out. Um, most of the damage dealers. So a general rule, Mystical, is when you're looking at min-maxing damage, really getting some heroes in these game modes to produce more damage. So even looking here at, let's say, this hero. So we have the Awakened version of Baden right there, but we do have Liberta in here. We can see Athelia in there. Um, even here, the Awakened version of Laika. Here is Lucius in there. This is where I really went through and min-max a lot of different heroes. It is really one of the big ones right here is, um, of course, old school Raku, but there is Eugene in here. The last formation is hidden. But what I did was I took a lot of the heroes that were doing very well when it came to the damage, built them up a little bit further with the signature items, but also built them up a little bit further with the engraving. That, that was one of the other big things is when we look to min-max engraving, we did 67 on a lot of heroes. We did 72 on some heroes. We took some heroes much higher than they originally were. Even right here, we did 72. Again, looking to really min-max the heroes in a lot of those different game modes. We've really made a lot more progression, especially when you start looking at places like the Treasure Scramble, rank 75 right here. We're doing really well. And again, min-maxing some of the heroes that we see within formations makes a really big difference in there. How long does it take to get Rem from the garrison? You have to borrow Rem six times and then Rem is free. After the sixth time, it is going to be absolutely free after that. Uh, do you think the new Dragon Faction will have regular units and Awakened units? That I would probably say right now, just early game, Alex, I would say no. Because my thought is it, it really depends on how they roll this out and how strong the Dragon units are. So if they make the Dragon units have a little bit more rarity, um, the dragon units a little bit more difficult to build. The dragon units even being on par possibly with an awakened hero. So you could have awakened heroes kind of in one tier. The dragon factions kind of on another tier. And with both of those kind of being separate, if the dragons are as strong or kind of on par with where the awakened heroes, I don't think there's going to be a need for the awakened ones. Because again, you're adding a whole nother layer of awakened heroes in there, which I hope they don't. Uh, Hippo has the patience of a saint. Yeah, I wait forever, guys. I, I, I have no problem waiting. Most of you know I did eight years in the Marine Corps. You talk about hurry up and wait and figuring out um, how to exactly wait. Yes, I, I, I have patience forever. Having kids was very easy with me because I do have patience really forever. Um, is SI-40 with Shamira top priority? Um, I do like it. So the SI-4 Shamira um, is really big, especially for PvP. So that is one thing, um, Jonathan, to remember is the PvP aspect with this hero is very, very big. PvP will work incredibly well. And guys, just a shout out, um, if you haven't subbed to the channel, go ahead and sub to the channel. I don't think we've had any on this stream. Usually we get three to five every single time we do the stream. So definitely sub to the channel if you haven't subbed to it yet. Is Naruko a viable hero? Yes, Naruko is very viable. And the reason being, Naruko has Nadia. So Naruko has the snake, um, or, or excuse me, the, the worm, Nadia. This is, Nadia is very, very, right there is Nadia. Nadia is what makes Naruko broken because Nadia is very hard to kill when Nadia gets buffed up. So if you have a team where you're buffing up heroes, if Nadia gets buffed up, Nadia is actually a pretty solid tank. Not only Naruko is a pretty solid tank, but yeah, N Naruko is one that is really, really good to build. Uh, who's the best hypo? Um, honestly, right now, hypo-wise, the best to build, Lava Tune. La Lava Tune is, is probably the, the again, when you think big picture looking at the priority heroes, hypo heroes, Lava Tune is the one 
that has utility to go anywhere. Literally, when you look at a formation, regardless of where you put Lava Tune and drop Lava Tune into a formation, um, Lava Tune is going to work exceptionally well, and he does work very, very well in a lot of different formations. Yes, Lava Tune is the priority, followed by Lucila for the hypos. Building both of those make a big difference. And yes, it is confirmed there is a new faction um, or new units that can be used in multiple factions. Yeah, and again, Trisha, I want to see how they roll it out. I, I want to see it. And yes, Asta, we have talked about the Dimensional Tower. I still heard and have seen nothing. It's like a literal ghost town with the Dimensional Tower that we haven't seen. I subbed. Great call. Much deserved. Oh, thank you, Ben. And again, I think it might be something showing up in here. I don't know what's been going on. So they did an update with um, with Stream Streamlabs, and it literally threw off everything. I had to go through, re-download, rebuild, um, add a lot of things to Streamlabs. I don't know. Notifications are not coming up. Every now and then they are. Sometimes people aren't getting notifications from YouTube, but I don't know what's going on with it. They did a big update, and it seemed to break a lot in there. Which Awakened Hero should I get 40 first? Um, the Awakened Heroes, it really depends on who you have built. Like I said, I built out, my first one was Athalia. And the reason being, when you look at heroes, Athalia and Liberta are used everywhere. There's not a formation that these heroes are not used at all. So I would highly, highly recommend building these out and putting them, you know, they're really the primary. I love Athalia, I love how she works but not only just in like the Celestial Tower, in all of the formations she's being used and a lot of other game modes. So when you look at the campaign, when you're looking at um, the Temple Rift, Athelia is pretty broken through a lot of different places. It is absolutely broken that, that I would build. Should I do Hero Stray Summons for four copies of Jerome till one star or keep them in the Stargazer? So guys, Alex, don't ever, ever use... Um, I think I think you mean the diamonds, saving up the diamonds. Yeah, any of the primary four factions, this is where you are always going to summon them. Um, is it worth getting Jerome to one star? Probably, I, I, I would probably use it. And I'm hoping again that our new faction is not going to use the Stargazer. I'm hoping that the new faction is not gonna use the Temple of Time. Um, I think there's gonna be its own way to summon them like we kind of talked about. I, I think, I, I, and I wanna see exactly what is coming down the pipeline. Is Eugene and Gavis gonna be meta now? Florin, we're still waiting. We are still waiting to hopefully see that Eugene and Gavis is going to be meta. But even looking here at kind of the early teams that we're seeing in the treasure scramble, even kind of just peeking at a couple of the ratings. I know Blossom's in here, Jigo's in here. Um, looking at the combination, and again, I was hoping to see, right there's Kinesa and Rook, of course, energy disintegration with Shamira. But even looking here, I thought Eugene um, Gavis might be used. We're not seeing them a lot of places, which again is a little bit sad to see, but we're not seeing them used as much as I thought. I, I think I kind of overpredicted um, exactly how much these heroes were going to be utilized. And as of right now, like I said, we're not seeing a ton of use cases for Eugene. Gavis is still being some use. Uh, would you use Athelia on stage 41? Yes. Athelia, I'm using right here in 62. We're still running Athelia. We're running the awakened version of Athelia, if, if that's the one you mean. Yes, going through here, making some progression. The awakened version of Athelia is pretty broken. Am I the only one that thinks Ghoulish Gallery is hard to summon? Not at all, Jonathan. I think that um, the Ghoulish Gallery is just an absolute pain in the butt. And I do not like doing the Ghoulish Gallery because at this point, we don't get enough staffs to do anything effectively unless, again, you're going to whale it. You're going to spend all your diamonds in there. Um, the Ghoulish Gallery, I do not like. I, I think especially when you're burning a lot of diamonds. So let's say you go in there, you drop 3,000 diamonds, you go in there, you do your summons, you get one of your, um, your legendary totems, use the legendary totem, and the legendary totem yields you absolutely garbage now you wasted your staffs, now you wasted your diamonds, now you wasted your attempt. There needs to be something that is a lot more streamlined in the Ghoulish Gallery. That makes sense. It, it really, really has to make sense in a lot of different places. And of course, we're gonna, we're gonna let this go ahead and farm with Thorin. We know Thorin's pretty broken. If we can get a double alt, boom! Thorin gets it done first try, guys. That is how Thorin is. Yes, there is a new faction, Aluch. There is. 
Gulas Gallery, like I said, Jonathan, um, is an absolute pain. It is an absolute pain in the butt with the Ghoulish Gallery. I, I don't like it. I don't know how, I don't like how it works. I don't like the RNG factor that's behind the Ghoulish Gallery. There's so much they could change within the Ghoulish Gallery to make it a lot better. And I really think it's gonna come with the addition of adding in the ability to get a lot more staffs. Yes, th that's the big thing. There has to be a way to get staffs. There has to be, excuse me, a free way to get staffs within AFK Arena that you're not burning all your diamonds because essentially, if you're burning all of your diamonds to farm up those arcane staffs to possibly or not possibly get some of the collections, you're wasting a ton of resources for essentially nothing that you might get out of there. And again, it's a very expensive way because then of course you can't use the Stargazer. A lot of different ways. They need to fix that as it sits today, definitely. Uh, should I build rain to E60? No. Build rain to an E30, that's all you need, Ali. I would not build rain any further. That's essentially where I would leave the hero. Um, 60, I didn't build her to a 60. There, there's not a big need to. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead, before I forget, we're gonna pop up our gifting of the membership. So there we go. So the gifting of the membership goes out just like that. And it goes to Trisha. Big shout out, Trisha, for getting another gifting membership. Um, do you support any soccer or football team, Aluch? I do not. Most of you know, I do not watch sports really at all. I, I would really say at, at all. I really don't watch um, anything. I, my time is taken up from AFK Arena, um, the, the time and effort in kids. I mean, right, we have soccer, we have football, we have catechism, we have swim for my son, we have swim for my daughter. Um, content creation, full-time job, part-time job. It, it, it's kind of crazy on how much um, how much time and effort to add sports into something like that. I don't think there there's not a possibility that I could because again, it, it's, it's incredible the time that we already have kind of dedicated to everything else outside of, outside of content. Sports I couldn't add. Sports would be another, la another layer. Essentially, that would be way too much. And I don't think I'm gonna sit here and farm. I wanna see if we can do some summons with our beasts over here. Beast ground, we have another 140. I know we've been just kind of running through this. We have four secret spice already right here. And it's weird too, because we haven't seen much in the area of beasts. I know we got the ice crown a while ago, but as far as everything else, we haven't seen much. And it seems like we're at the point where a majority of larger players, a majority of whales have gotten to the point of having all of the beasts resonance to 18. Even some of the smaller dolphins are now at 18, which means they need another game mode, which of course is going to be the dragons to really go in there and build build them out a little bit further. Olgath or Kelthin, um, honestly, Alex, I, I, I like Kelthin, but I think Olgath still has a little bit more utility. Um, but I don't think, again, I, I really don't see a lot of utility with either of them as of right now. I'll see you later, Jonathan. Have a great day. Um, I don't see a lot of utility with either of them right now. Honestly, I, I would probably wait because again, looking at, and this is where I kind of look at different game modes, it is getting to the point where who is being used in what iterations and what leaderboards, even here there's Blossom again. Um, so looking in here, right here, we have Crisio in there. We have Scarlet. This is why I said earlier with the importance of building out Scarlet if you don't have Scarlet built. The original version of Baden, there is Leica built out. We also do have Oren in there. Baden, again, the uh, awakened version of Baden. And then we have Athalia. So when you look at a lot of these heroes and how many of these heroes do we see that are crossing over from the Nightmare Corridor into our Cursed Realm? Quite a few. Again, let's see where Blossom is here. There's Blossom. Um, again, there's Baden again that we've seen. There's the Awakened version of Athelia. I know we added Liberta because again, damage in here. There's the Awakened version of Laika again. We do have Belinda in here. And then of course we see Eugene. Now Kelthin is in this one. But again, is there gonna be a good substitute that you could put in there? Probably, there's probably. Um, what's going on Arvid? Thank you for helping me build my account. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're welcome guys. I love doing it. Just wanted to ask, what is the time there? Time, it is 1.53 p.m. We are Eastern Standard Time. Most of you know I'm just north of Detroit, up in Michigan. I'm getting a bank account soon. Means I might also uh, be a member because you're awesome. Our uh, rule, if you're getting a bank account, especially younger, um, I have a finance channel as well. Check it out. 
we, we go over everything in there and I do financial education. That's what I do professionally. I'm a bank manager. We do financial counseling and education. Um, yes, if you're getting a bank account, don't start spending money on memberships right off the bat. Make sure you get everything set. Should I get Navy to 60? Now I would say no. And Aluch, the big thing is um, getting Navy to 60, we're not seeing this hero used very many places. That's really, I mean, I as much as I like the hero, there was a time and a place where these heroes were very, very predominant. As of now in AFK Arena, it is not really the case. And again, with the new faction coming, with the new classification coming, um, I would wait, hold on to your resources. If you're not currently building a hero, just wait. Just wait, wait. And again, I can't stress it enough. Just kind of pause what you're doing. If you're building an Awakened Hero and they're halfway built, yes, build the Awakened Hero. But if you're starting to build the new hero, pause for about a week or two. See over on our PTR. I'll come up with the videos. We'll have the content coming out of what is this going to look like for the new factions, the classifications. What's it going to roll out? What's it going to look like? Is it going to cost you a lot of diamonds to do summons in there? Is it going to be another resource? Again, we have so many different question marks. Um, I, I would wait. Would you gaze to add stars in Awakened Hero? Not more than one. Ty, I, I, one and only one. The only reason why we built some of these Awakened Heroes past that one star was, again, to be very competitive is the big thing. When you sit there and if you're being competitive within AFK Arena, you have to build the heroes out. That is why we built out Belinda. That's why we built out Laika. Because, of course... With the damage dealing heroes, you are going to have a lot more damage if you build them out with stars. When you start getting them higher, even looking at Belinda, this again is the reason why we went to the 80 engraving. But when you start building out these heroes with more stars, it is going to add right here, three, six, nine, 12 more crit. That might not seem like a lot, but when you stack it on top of all of the other abilities that this hero does have, the amplification of damage goes up a lot. And again, to be competitive, you, you definitely want to. Um, was swapping Matria for Shamira? Honestly, probably yes. And the big thing is, you know what? Worst case scenario, either you don't have Matria or you don't have Shamira. Matria's not seeing as much uses, usage as we once seen. I use Shamira a lot. I don't use Matria anymore. So doing that swap, Paco, makes, makes, a, makes a sense to me. Um, to, to build them. And similar, should I build Trishia 260? Again, at this point, I wouldn't, just for the simple fact that she's not being used. For a while, she was absolutely the best in slot in some of the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor. As of now, she's been kind of power crept on. We're not seeing it, um, yeah, we're not seeing it used very much at all. There are, of course, some these formations, but again, there's a lot of places you can sub in other heroes if you don't have Trishia built, which will work very well. What's going on? True Killa caught a live stream. Thanks for joining us for the live stream. We're almost concluded here. But again, even looking at the resources that I am sitting on, guys, save your resources. I cannot stress it enough. When something major, and we should have learned this quite a while ago, that's why I always kind of iterate it. Um, save your resources when AFK Arena is rolling out a new system. Save your resources to see exactly what it looks like because it, right now a lot of it is a very, very big question mark. Um, swap Matria for Athelia. Yeah, that's a good swap as well. Again, if you have a hero in big picture, because I know we still have quite a bit of while, um, quite a bit of time left on our hero swaps, is if you're sitting on a hero. That you have completely built. Yeah, we still have a month, a month and six days. But if you're sitting on a hero that is built, that you are not using, guys, those are resources you could probably be using on another hero, where again, you also do have to take it with a grain of salt because also, if you're swapping Matria, chances are that when it comes to the King's Tower, when it comes to the Infernal Fortress, chances are this is going to become a lot more difficult if you don't have Matria, but you swapped Matria for the Awakened version of Athelia, this tower becomes incredibly easy because you get Athelia. This tower becomes a lot more difficult because you lost Matria. So, so kind of both of them are, are kind of bad. Um, I have Athelia and Shemiria. Would you build Belinda or wait for the fifth anniversary? Um, yeah, I, I would wait. You have Athelia, the Awakened version of Athelia and Shemira. Um, 
Both of them very, very strong to have. Leica is good as well. We see Leica again in a lot of different formations, but I would wait. Again, I would probably wait, wait true two weeks, true killer, um, and see what comes out because essentially, even then, so you have two more weeks of resources. If the new faction comes out, not really a huge thing is you can go back and you can build whoever you need to or whoever you want because you'll still have and be sitting on all of those resources versus spending the resources now. And then of course, a new system rolls out. You don't have any resources to build anyone in there and you're kind of kicking yourself because you burn through all your resources for heroes that might not be as prevalent as of today. Is Thorin worth building or maybe swapping? Yes. So Thorin is easy. And honestly, if you don't have Thorin, drop Thorin in the wish list and just literally just let it go. You will, you will get Thorin over time, guys. All of the heroes that were kind of getting these one-off copies, Thorin is good because Thorin is when you start getting into very, very high level deficiencies, um, Thorin is the one you go to. So even right here, guys, this is the one we're using Thorin in here. Again, when you start getting into very high level deficiencies, and even here we're what, two, three, four, almost 500, almost 500 level deficiency. That's the point where the Thorn cheese is gonna work exceptionally well um, to, to really wait. Uh, what is the main priority character that isn't awakened? Um, if you're talking Paco, we're looking at like here, Liberta, Lucila, um, Damia, Lavatune, um, even looking at these ones. So some of the buffing heroes, when you look at, let's just start here at the beginning, um, Jerome, absolutely one you want to build. Palmer still has a lot of utility. Even looking in here, Crisio, Naruko, um, both do incredibly well. Wilders, we have Aethys, which works very, very well. Orin still being used quite a bit. Even looking, Tamara still being used in quite a bit. Even looking at the Greyborn again, Ivan still seeing quite a bit of play. Um, Silas still using, um, Oden still using. A couple of these, of course, a lot of them used for the towers specifically and work incredibly well. Lady Simona still being used, again, with the Shamira combination. There's a few in there. Is Olgath worth um, saving? I would just save. I would save, honestly. Um, Kern, looking at Olgath, again, utility-wise, the only place we're seeing him right now is the tower. So it's kind of unfortunate. And again, to put a lot of time and effort and resources into building out Olgath today, I don't think is gonna be worth it. And again, I don't know the effectiveness of Kelthan within the tower, only time will tell. But again, this is another hero where if you're putting a ton of resources into, we're not seeing a huge return with him, which is kind of sad. It, it it's you're, We're not seeing a lot of a lot of return with Kelthan. Unfortunately, I thought he was gonna be a lot better than he actually came out and as he is now. Again, not seeing a lot of utility. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for our stream. I'm gonna let this run through, get through this boss mode. Um, but thank you guys for joining me for the stream. Most of you know, I love doing the streams, guys. This is why we do this a couple a couple other times. What's going on? Uh, affi affiliate? Affiliate journey, first time catching you, following you for two years. Thank you for joining. Yes, guys, we'll leave it with save your resources. Again, I cannot stress it enough. Now is the time of AFK Arena. You wanna be saving your resources. We know there's a lot of new stuff coming out. We know that means a lot of content is gonna change. Heroes are gonna change. We're gonna stay. And of course, AFK Journey, AFK Arena, we're playing them both and we're not going anywhere. Channel's not going anywhere. I got a lot of questions about, am I still gonna play AFK Arena? Absolutely 100%, guys. We are playing both of them and we're gonna make content for both of them. So definitely, if you're not subbed to the channel, definitely sub. But guys, that is going to, um, oh, Orange, sorry. Let me see, Orange had a question. I don't wanna miss a question in here. Uh, let me see where, maybe I didn't see her. I skipped your question, Orange. Um, Liberta, I see Liberta at Paco Bear. I have Rem, oh, you have Rem, Athelia, Liberta. Who is next? If you have Liberta, um, Lava Tune or Damia. Those are the two Orange. I, I don't I don't wanna miss the question. Um, yes, when you look at the four, the four primaries and the four big ones, and this, this is for anyone, Liberta, Damia, Lava Tune, Lucila. Those are the big four, absolutely 100% orange. Um, those are the four big ones. When you look at all of the content, when you look at all of the game modes, um, those are absolutely the big ones to build within AFK Arena. All right, guys, so again, that's gonna do it. But again, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna miss uh, the question in there. Can you go over the Elder Tree? 
Um, the elder tree I'll have to cover. If you look, go down in the guide section red, there is a guide. There's actually a couple guides for the elder tree. Unfortunately, with the elder tree, it hasn't changed. It literally hasn't changed since release, which is kind of crazy. So the videos might be a little bit back, or if you look at an elder tree, yes, the elder tree, um, but like I said, hasn't changed, which is kind of kind of crazy. But all right, again, that is gonna do it for the stream today. Thank you guys for joining me. Very, very awesome to be able to talk to you guys about AFK Arena. Got a lot more content coming, a lot more of that is coming to both games, new heroes, new factions, new dragons. I'm super excited about it, and I know you guys are as well. So again, that's gonna do it for the stream. And as always, thank you guys for watching.